All right, so we're here. This is part two of the JSRF route movement intermediate tutorial. We went ahead and skipped the two minutes of waiting in death ball, and we're gonna go ahead and start the races up and skip the cutscenes because we were so privileged to do that. <laughs> so, death ball is real simple. You have one trick and good movement to do throughout. So, Death Ball's a great place to practice your movement and uh, just be fast. Uh, right there is the only trick. You just do a quick turn into a boost and to pick up the ball and to shuffle. That's all you have to do. It's that easy. Uh, and then you just need visual cues on when you normally start hopping and things like that, since you won't have a speedometer. So, uh, I usually... Uh, start hopping right before that corner after I shuffle off the ramp or off the uh, quarter pipe and then up ahead we're going to shuffle at the end of this rail and then we're gonna start hopping around the corner as well so drop a shuffle hop around that corner and that's it and your bar of success, generally, oh, Jazz either got lost or chunned, that's neat, is to uh, finish the race before Jazz completes the lap. Jazz either got stuck or she got glitched out, so that's pretty funny. And then you do that three times, so, you have, so be consistent and practice this, because it's not difficult and it's pretty easy movement. And that's the only thing you have to focus on. There's no graffiti, no anything else you have to really worry about. You just have to go fast. And it's great. So again, quick turn, and then boost. And then hold left to turn so you don't get stuck in the corner. You want to shuffle for about four seconds. And then start doing wall rides. So that way you get grind speed more often. So that's what wall rides are. Drop a shuffle. Make it around the corner and start hopping. Shuffle. Make it around the corner. A uh, perfect failed trick jump, or perfect trick jump of shame. So I got such a good shuffle there that my normal visual cue for when I start uh, trick jump or uh, hopping actually ended up being a trick jump because I was going so fast. I also had a perfect 160.0 there, which is the absolute minimum speed for a trick jump, which is great. The reason we talk about trick jumps and hop so much, by the way, is because trick jumps cost 20% of your speed to do them. So I'm going to jump. You can see my speed go from 250 to 200. So that's, uh, that's slow and not fast. Whereas falling or hopping, since that's after a fall, doesn't cost any speed. So that's why we do all these hops as opposed to trick jumps. And that's something that a lot of beginner players do is they trick jump everywhere to stay on rails, which is a good idea, but trick jumping is slow in general. It also keeps you in the air for a while, for better or for worse. Nice three for three on that one. I definitely didn't fail a recording just a couple minutes ago where I went 0 for three on that and messed up Terra Duran. Wouldn't do that. Around the corner. Shuffle, hit the corner. There we go. That's what, uh. He lies! I don't know what you're talking about. Look at those point one hops. Mmm, so good. Fantastic. Alright, so let's talk about part two of this. Uh. Part two of the tutorial. This game basically breaks down to. Chapters 1 to 3, the very difficult part of Chapter 4, and then 5 through 8. Kind of like that, although Chapter 4 is very similar to the first three. It's just really difficult. Uh, so this, the rest of the game has no more major graffiti. We just have a lot of uh, boss fights to do and different tasks. Alright, let's talk about Terra Drone here. Uh, there's one lineup you need to do. It's directly through the center of the logo. And uh, you just get to jump up on the Terra Drone, and it's good. Hit it left to right. So there it is. You hold upright to start, 
land up here, you let go of the stick and it'll kind of just take care of itself. Push to the right to get to the right one. You go underneath. Terra Drone is easy peasy. I forgot to start the timer. That's Death Ball. Alright. Now we have Noise Tank cleanup. We can wonderfully skip some cutscenes. And we're going to start by going to Dogen. So the point of noise tank cleanup, obviously, you have to hit 200 noise tanks, 190 if you fail sewer skip, fun fact. And we're going to pick up them as fast as possible. So again, it's another movement-based section similar to Death Ball. Uh, this one's a lot more quick turn heavy. So, yeah, as you improve in your quick turns, you'll see your times come down. Now, there are patterns to how you should knock those out. Patterns like that. Uh, that I did is a good way to take care of... Where's my Air 3 soul? I must already have it or something. Weird. Uh, you should pick up the Air 3 soul there. But anyway, you want to be able to hit these noise tanks fairly consistently in that, in that kind of pattern because that's what's going to save time. If you have to individually hit them, this section is going to take a lot longer than you want it to. Make sure to find a pattern. It doesn't have to be perfect, but one that works for you. It should be decently quick, though. So, like you can see, all of these are lined up. So I take them out in a line here, and I turn around. And I take these out in a line. And I come back, and now these are grouped up. And then I take out this last guy. Uh, by the way, if your camera gets locked on to nothing, for some reason the camera locks on to the origin point of the map, the 0, 0, 0 point, just, there's no way to avoid that. So just deal with it. Uh, you can boost here, one, two, three, four. I missed one tank, but that's okay. You can miss about five tanks before it becomes an issue, depends on what route you're taking. Oh, this is a bummer. So I loaded this off uh, off of one of our modded saves. Hmm. So we're going to need 10 fewer noise tanks. That's okay. We'll work around it. Uh, that message should appear when you're hitting the ones on the rail uh, up there. That message should appear. That's... You've killed 100, you have 100 to go. Uh, and that should appear then. It appeared earlier because of how the game interacts with uh, Sir Skip. It's kind of weird. The switches in, uh, in Sewer Facility actually count as noise tanks here because reasons. Hit that just like that. That's a nice, fun little thing to do. It's fast. You should hit some along the road there, probably one or two, but it's not a big deal. Again, you can miss a couple. That's not a big deal. So, I have a theory that the speed people do noise tank cleanup in is most proportional to their leaderboard times because of how much of a pure map movement section it is. Uh, like if there's, you could look at one split to say this is about how people do it. Uh, that's it. All right, these are about ten tanks left here. You would go ahead and clean them up. So just like hit through that line and then come back. I'm gonna leave them so I can show a proper 99th Street route. But normally you'd hit all those just like that, and you can see it in any video. This route has not changed in years, uh, as far as we're concerned. You will end up with a couple more cans. Hold B, entering here to go ahead and boost. Drop a shuffle. When you get below, when you can start seeing your speed decrease, go ahead and do that. And uh, hop on the rail. 
Then we'll just go around here and uh, pop as many tanks as we can. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah's tutorial is fine for noise tanks. Yes. The only thing different we do, so 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. So when he says 10, you can start counting 4. And then we try and finish up here because that saves the most time. So we'd go three, two, one. Can even pick up cans and then hit zero like that. And then boost with extra cans. That's not necessary, that's a little fancy. And you can just finish down on the bottom floor if you really want to. But, yeah. That's just a little fancy thing we do. Uh, the more difficult thing to do is clip into the wall here. What I like to do is push myself against that wall uh, right here after jumping from the rail. That gives you an approximate line up here, which does allow you to just make that hop easily. Otherwise, you can do the normal skyscraper thing and death warp up here normally. Go ahead and uh, get... You need 23 cans per noise tank. I would recommend bringing about 40, uh, 25 minimum in, just to be sure. But if you're any percent is... If your run's on the line or whatever, you can enter with as few as 23. A really small movement thing. This rail ends on the last bend right there. Up there. There. Sorry. Capture delay. So what I like to do is drop, drop a quick uh, trick jump right on that last little segment. And that'll uh, take me right into... Uh, Sky Dino as fast as possible. Alright. You will need to practice this. This catches a lot of beginning players off guard. This fight is not difficult, but if you mess it up, it gets really ugly really fast. And you'll have to find your own way of doing this, but here's what I like to do. So we're going to go ahead and just tap the stick forward a little bit to nail this first guy right here. Hardest part, make sure you're not going too fast when you jump the turn style, or you'll just slam into him. Take him out here, jump as you take him out. Grab the cans on the left, then jump back to the right, and that's important because that prevents this guy from picking up cans. Then I go ahead and get into the four, uh, the... That certain trick where you stand up facing to the left, that's what I use as my cue. Slow down and hit that guy. Uh, front side, I believe, is the trick. And then you're able to catch this guy. Stop doing tricks there so you stay in line with him better. And you take him out in perfect time like that. That is how that, that should go. That'll take some practice, but you need to find a cue that tells you when to slow down, how much to slow down, and then when to speed up again. Speed control is a very important for this fight. And if you do it wrong, uh, uh, things will just go ugly. Here's some things to know if they go wrong. There's only one death warp spot in the entire map. You mu everybody, when they die, will go back to the start, regardless of where you fall off in the map. That's different than the normal level, where that's not the case. Uh, they will wait at the start, and on that building on the far side of the map, you know the one. Uh, if you trigger them, they'll go all the way back to the start, you can just wait for them there. Sometimes if you hit them off the map, they will go ahead and bug out their AI. Uh... Their AI will bug out, they'll get stuck in a corner, they'll get stuck all over the place, but... Yeah, it's a whole mess if you mess it up, so put in the work so that's not necessary. Alright, going to Clutch, you want to switch to Corn real fast, so it's another right A input, like we did to get to Gum earlier. Uh, by the way, if anybody else, Krabby and whoever in the chat wants to... Uh, comment on anything, feel free. The chat's on the bottom right. Reason we switched corn is so we only have to do uh, one character swap in Kibo instead of two. It's very minor. But it is a thing. Uh, 
You do that uh, boost and shuffle enough times that it's actually important to know, like, right when you can shuffle during this run. Are you a pro? No. Good shuffle right there, me. What's up, Manby? We're going to go into Kibo here. Uh, if you press X, you might hand plant there. You might also just get a giant jump. So just be careful. You want to hold down on the stick here. Maybe down and left a little bit. Nice job. Come over here. Swap characters. And the fight disappears. It's wonderful. Uh, you want to enter FRZ with some cans. If you pick those up, you can get a boost through sewers, which is questionably worth. So, go for that. But you can boost right here. And you enter FRZ. FRZ is the last really technical movement section, I would say. So, this will just take practice to do. We're going to go ahead and shuffle here. Hold a... Uh, your pro tip for the day, by the way, for FRZ, if you're getting graffiti camera where your camera uh, looks at the bomb, start spraying earlier. You can buffer these sprays because they're not graffiti. They are entities on the map. So hold your right trigger beforehand, and you'll hit it without triggering the graffiti cam a lot more. And that'll make your jumps a lot easier. It won't mess up this camera stuff. So this is a back and forth because acceleration is slow, you want to be boosting as much as you can. There's also a ton of cans. Uh, if you can't boost after backflipping off, make sure to do an extra hop for speed. That's something I actually haven't talked about. Uh, if you, when you're accelerating from, start from way down here. If you're accelerating on a rail, I'm gonna start from zero speed. I'm gonna do some tricks. Notice how we got to about 201 speed or so by the time we reach the end here. However, if I do the same thing, I'm going to do it not on a curved rail. One, two, you can see, even in less time, I could get to a higher speed. Let's try this again, but doing it right. Hop, hop, hop. There we go. You can see I was already able to make it to like 300 speed, or 250 speed. And that's because hopping ad, uh, applies a multiplier, whereas uh, grinding just increases it over time. So, cool. That's how to do that. But if you can boost, that's the best because you automatically get to 300 speed. Anyway, where were we? Spray this guy. Hop down here. Turn around and just fall onto this wonderful invisible platform area. Uh, go ahead and just land somewhere here and either spray it or come over here and spray it like that. Hop over here, jump with no stick immediately, and then, uh, then turn left, so opposite of sewer skip. Okay, uh, hard part one, BAA is your input really quickly, and then hold far left. You can hold far left as you're jumping, by the way. You should aim that jump. Same thing, but hold right. Make sure to do one trick in air. It actually makes a difference. So again, we're going to boost to maximize our acceleration. And that's part one. Your goal is is to do that in one minute. One minute is the, like, gold standard time you want to get towards. Cool. Uh, you can do world record jump here, as we'll call it, where you boost around the side like that and land that. That's called world record jump. Uh, otherwise, just skip it like this. World record jump takes a lot of practice to do, so I would recommend doing this. Make sure to cut your corners as you jump. 
Makes it go a little faster. There are a lot of cans here. So you can do stuff like this. And you need 30-ish cans for this section. 28. Make it over here by just hopping on that rail and immediately jumping. You can spray early to go ahead and uh, prevent that graffiti cam from getting you. This will take a little bit of practice. Make sure to take it at an angle. Don't uh, don't go right on. Uh, don't go right down the thing because the angle to hit the stairs is harder. But that that jump is not as scary as it looks. Boost. Know about where you're going to hit and just spam the A button as you get there. Then curve left just slightly after you make that second trick jump. Quick turn there. All the pause kind of ruined it. Boost, right rail, spray early. You want to grab those cans if you can and do a rail transfer. This is the next hard part of FRZ. If you want the easy part, uh, what is it, take the stairs up? Let me just take the stairs up and see what happens. Yeah, take the stairs up and go right there. That's where the bomb is, right under us, basically. Or don't jump from those stairs those stairs and just take them around here they'll go the same way and you'll end up in the same area uh, that's the easy way to do it uh, so there's the bomb right there uh, I will show you though because it's not that hard it's scary looking but it's not hard uh, how to do this properly in just a moment I gotta go get back up because uh, that has no buffer whatsoever to where you, uh, where am I? There we are. to where the bottom is. Let me get back up real quick. You will fall in FRZ, learn how to get back up pretty quick. Inside rails save a lot of time. Uh, we can just skip that, because I already covered it. Do you skate IRL? I have. I do actually have skates. I wish I did it more. Here's how that should look. So this is how this should look. Remember, and this is important to remember, uh, controls are always camera relative. So if you press the stick and then wait to jump, you're going to launch in a very weird direction. So make sure, make sure as you refresh a camera, hold L, 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 only when you're ready to jump do you want to hit up and A. Your uh, visual cue, by the way, is this brown, brown wall. I'm going to just... There it is. Right there. See where I paused at? That brown wall is something you'll be able to see very easily. And uh, right after that is when you want to point and jump. Now, I didn't boost because I'm not going to hit it there because I wanted to do it again. So, we'll go ahead and do it really for real this time. Alright, so here's how you really for real do it. Press B. And boom, just like that. Left trigger to refresh. Uh, your camera, see the brown wall? push forward on the stick only then and then jump you will see a whole bunch of different methods for how to cross this easiest method on planet earth is jumping there i actually suck is just to jump across uh i wanted to jump on the turbines but i did a little poorly so nice i'm actually going to reload all of frz part two just to do it in one segment here uh, just so you can see it done all the way through. Because, as I found out in Sk Skyscraper, messing it up a billion times is bad for tutorialing. So I'm going to go through it once, really for real. Your cans may differ, by the way, on how you do the first part. So again, we're going to hop on the rail essentially one trick and then jump over here 
We don't have to hop because we're not actually getting good speed. Just hit this angle. And again, adjust your uh, in-flight or in-jump movement so that way it works out for you so you go the right direction. Boost. Point and jump. Good. We'll do this the easy way, just so we have a nice and easy method. You can jump on those fans, though, and then boost across them. Uh, across them really easy. And that's what a lot of the, like, all of the modern routes do, is some variation of boost jump. And then just fall, and if you just hold left, you'll just land better than that. Once we stop the timer, let's go ahead and, uh... Start going up the spiral staircase. Uh, if you don't pause, you'll land somewhere about here when you're uh, cutscene in. So make sure hop, hop, hop. You can do three hops going up, uh, going up, and a boost up. Grab some cams. Outside rail is easier. You just jump right there, right to yo yo. Uh, your management number should be 23 for this, but that's, that's a little more. Just have enough cans. It does take eight to kill the jets. Uh, so we're going to make a save just in case they kill us because it is RNG. You want to jump on the first one and then just pray you don't get missiled to death. Uh, you can hop as you hit that, uh, first jet and try try and jump over it cleanly and land it properly but at this point just hit the thing and be happy so alrighty chapter 8 this is chapter clutch so we go left 2 land on clutch and clutch is going to be really important 35 cans gets used in a lot of places here he has almost, the, he has like one tier below gum and quartering, so it's actually not as bad as I originally thought, but yeah. If you have enough cans, which is 15 or more, you boost here. We need 35 going into Chuo. You can get those yellow cans if you need them. We didn't need them, so I didn't pick them up. You just want to kind of fast movement your way through, through that. Alright. We can afford a boost here, which is kind of fun. Alternatively, you could just do this like you do it normally in Chuo, but I kind of like having an extra boost. Why not? If you do the be uh, the boost method, do pick up these cans. Alright, let's talk about uh, Claw Guy before we get into it. Um, in any world record video, you will see... Zero cycle claws where you boost, where immediately off the start you boost, turn, spray them, boost them, turn, spray again. You don't have a whole lot of... You A, need to have really precise quick turns, and B, you just have to practice it a lot to get it. So, practice it, but starting out, I'm not expecting that to happen and run. So what we're going to do instead is we're going to one cycle him, basically. So we're going to say, prepare for battle, I'm going to let this run. And we're just going to boost them the first time. So we're going to hit them. And we're going to start spraying them. Don't stand too close to him. Or you'll get hit. So you should do more damage than that to him, to be real honest. I didn't. So then you'll refill on these cans. You'll need, depending on how well that first cycle does, to dodge his claws, just run away from it. Go up on him. Hit him by short hopping on him. Stand to the side and spray him. Then boost him down again and finish him off. And that's one cycle claws done rather poorly. You can do that. That was the worst you could possibly do that, pretty much, as far as, like, competent speedrun strats. 
Obviously, things can go worse if you get hit and have all sorts of problems. Uh, just remember, you can always boost and spray into them as kind of an option. So, that that isn't too hard to do, and that's how you should do claws until you get zero cycle down, which is somewhere when you hit like the 145, 140 kind of range. I still can't do it consistently, but I haven't practiced much. So now we have, uh, we have to go all the way over to Highway Zero. We have a ton of cans incoming, so we can do a lot of free boosts. Uh, so we're gonna do a couple of them. Let's see if we can grab these two cans. We did not. Oops, didn't think I made that real. Gonna go ahead and grab enough for one boost, even though we don't need it. You don't even need to boost across this, but I'm gonna use it to show that we can do it with no cams. There's your jump to get from Shibuya to Highway Zero. Jump at the bottom of that right there to get the best angle uh, to land on the stairs. If you wait too long, you'll just fly right over them. All right, let's waste our cans real quick. So don't do that boost. It's a genuine waste of cans. Just walk at these guys going forward. And then it's just the only tricky part, I say while failing horrifically, is to uh, pick up those cans. So this was a rather poor performance on this one. But... Kind of wanted to be on the ground for that, but whatever. You have all of these cans to pick up. There's so many cans, so just boost absolutely everywhere. You'll notice a pattern of the four boost uh, 99th Street. Should get into a uh, kind of general habit of that. If you have a boost coming into Skyscraper, boost. This fight does have a uh, pretty, pretty nice setup. Where you're gonna do like one trick, hop off, and then just knock them all down. So one trick, hop off, knock them all down, just like that. And this is the one where you need the cans afterwards. And that was a lot better. Uh, we can afford one boost here, but if you don't want to do it, you do not have to. I split entering Highway Zero. Some people split entering the fight. That's like the only contested split location. Okay, what we're gonna do here is uh, let's walk over here. Uh, we want to hop right here onto this wire and then just kind of fall down here and grab the cans on this rail. Flames Chick doesn't require boost to knock down, so we're just gonna walk into her. Uh, the trick is just hit her, spin around, hit her, walk around her, quick turn into her, and knock her down again. Results may vary, so let's try it. So I'm going to run into her, start making a half circle around her, speed up when it's time to hit her again, do it again, lock onto her because this actually makes the camera easier, and do that three times. That wasn't like world record tier or anything like that, but that was clean enough that it would make a fight. I'd be happy with that in a run. And then we leave, and that's it. That is that's all we do. So, I kind of went through that a little quick, but that fight is not too difficult. You can lose time on it, but it's not as, like, catastrophic possible as, uh, Claws, because he requires a boost. Alright, we're going to do the wall hop, similar to 99th Street. Uh, I'm going to make a quick save because I want to show two different things. You can land directly on that pillar. Uh, again, you just hop over here. I do one trick so I can use my skates to line up. And then just push forward. Just fall off there. If, however, you can't do that, I need a backup. Uh, go ahead, get up on that pillar again. Not like that. Get up on this pillar. Jump down here. 
want to do. Will that make it? I forget if that makes it or not. That didn't make it. Uh, what you can do is either boost right here and just make it do the onion clip, uh, run up to the third ramp and fall off, like this. That's obviously the easiest one. Or you can do, okay. Or you can do some kind of corner clip, shuffle, and a trick jump this way. Although I'm pretty sure I actually hit that, so yeah. nope, that works. So if you just kind of run over the corner of the ramp, uh, and then shuffle, it'll do it. But obviously the wall hop is the fastest method, and that's what I would recommend you do. Nice. Uh, because that's what we do in quick light already, so you have that practice, and we do it again in several places. If you want practice on that, either boot up the quick save mod or boot up the Skyscraper District uh, Jet Graffiti IL and just run at that like a hundred times. Slow down here because Zero Beat's really close. And this is unskippable because it is in engine. Uh, just like PJ, which is kind of neat. So, uh, make sure you're pointed the right way. You always face characters, so that's where your camera edits to. Uh, this guy goes. The rail extends a little bit farther than the Sky Dino one. So I go to, like, the third little black part on the side of the... Uh, on the side of the rail and go from there. Alright, I should have made a save. I didn't, so I might crash it if I did. So I'm not going to. So we're going to do the easy peasy right to left method on this. Uh, we're going to just do right to left. You need one boost and in like three jumps. So here's the mechanics of the train. Uh, it stops if you get too far behind it. So this doesn't do anything as far as the setup is concerned. Uh, and it slows down when it shoot when it does any kind of attack, and it moves at roughly grinding speed. So, if you are on a rail that is not being attacked, you will gain ground on the train. If you have to jump to move to a different rail, you'll probably not gain any time because the jump costs speed. So, with those two mechanics in mind, and I might call the attack popcorn, we're going to start on the rightmost rail. Hold down your right trigger to start spring, and this one goes down just like that. We're going to pick up five cans, and right after the fifth one, we're going to jump over to the next rail. So there is one, two, three, four, five, jump to the next rail, boost, start spraying this one. Cool. Once we hit this corner, again, right after that fifth can gets picked up, start, uh, make your jump and start spraying this guy. Cool. This is down. One more attack to dodge and then we can finish this fight off. So it's going to open its mouth, wait a couple tricks, then do that, and you can use that time to jump to the last rail and finish off the train. That is the easiest but also somewhat slowest strat for train. But that is a good starting point. For just knocking out a train. And we split, obviously, after that. If things go wrong, they can go really wrong. So you have to just understand the mechanics of the train and, uh, and use them to your advantage. You can, like, force it to stop and then boost towards it to catch up to it. You can do that, but it costs a lot of cans. And there are not a lot of cans, so do be careful how that works. I'm going to go ahead and pick up Clutch here again. We're going to go ahead and start this fight with almost no cans, just to prove that you can do it. But you can start it with as many cans as you want. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and skip one of the cutscenes, but I want to show you the visual cue for starting the zero beat fight. 
Uh, okay, we can do one more. Cool. So, it's when the zero beats, bring their hands up, and then on the way down, you can press A to go. So I'm going to try and point that out. So they're dancing, dancing on my screen. Hands up, down. Uh, hands up, down. Boom. You can start. Okay. Start this fight by picking up those cans. Coming back here. Picking up all these. Grabbing all these. And then jumping here. Hardest part, don't bonk this guy and don't be too far behind him. Jump with him. Over to the other rail. When you kill him, jump to the left. So that way we can refill cans. And we can finish the last guy off right here. Make sure to jump with him if things go wrong. That's zero beat. That's the entire fight. Uh, that'll take not as much practice as it looks. You just have to be fast enough to get up to here. Uh, you'll want to get to here and make this trick jump and start spraying him. If you're a little slow, you can short hop and meet him right here. But uh, you have to be aware that Zero Beat will jump here and then he'll jump back over to the left rail afterwards. So you might have to follow him there. Okay. We have Goji, and this is it. So, first thing we're going to do is point back right uh, on the stick. Kind of maybe pure right to back right, depending on how you want to turn. So I'm going to skip. I'm going to hold right. I'm going to knock over these space ninjas for the cans later. And we're going to grind up. And this is RDH style, kind of RDH sewers style jump, so just do that. Uh, I would recommend giving yourself a tiny bit more space to jump off those billboards by directing yourself... Thanks for follow. Uh, directing, directing yourself to the right very, very slightly. Like, you couldn't even hardly see it, but I just find it helps uh, while going to the billboards. Very, very, very slightly, though. Okay. There are two strats here I'm going to actually repause. Um... You can boost them twice at the top here, which is the super easy peasy strat, and then spray them again. Or we can do the faster strat, which is not much harder. So we're going to slow down, we're gonna turn, and we're going to boost into them. Then we're going to drop, and it's specific to drop right here next to that billboard, and slowly. And see where this puts us? Right where we start. Where we've got our cans, where we hit our space ninjas. And then we climb back up. Again, you can boost them at the top there, but it wastes about a couple seconds. I think it's like six. So, yeah. Take your time. You don't have to boost them immediately. If you don't know where he is, go ahead, wait for him to attack. Once he's running, then boost him down. And just stand here and just kind of slowly kite away from him. So down, 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 down while holding right trigger. And that will complete the boss fight. And that's it. That's the entire game. That's the late game. The techniques uh, are not quite as hard, but they are precise. Uh, things can go a lot worse in the late game, where you'll just lose chunks of time. And you'll know you'll have that good run when you don't lose any chunks of time, and it's great. So... That's it. That's all the boss fight strats and everything for chapters 5 through 9. Uh, or 5 through 8 or whatever. So, yeah. There we go. Thanks for watching. Make sure to leave some comments. Uh, I know there might be some corrections in descriptions. So, go ahead and uh, you know make sure to check those out as well. Just to be sure. The, the description box and the comments will both have any corrections. Uh, and a lot of them, a lot of the things I mentioned are specifically designated towards, like, just, I've gotten into the thing and I'm kind of excited to play, but I don't know where to go. Not everything I've said is a technical absolute truth, 
but it is correct mostly. And that's an important part is knowing uh, where this is mostly correct. It's just a good foundation to start on uh, before we get into really technical stuff. So let's go ahead and kill Clutch. And there we go. <laughs> so yeah, that's it for uh, that's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching and uh, adios.